It's connoisseurship. I don't have the language. Connoisseurship ultimately it sits, it rests on a language, a, a, a meaning, meaning a set of ideas and expressions uh, that are uh, representing. Uh, I don't know. Somebody has to that has to evolve, and that's probably going to take a long time. Uh, well, Simpson is saying that art criticism is not its job. Uh, that Simpson's opinion, I, I don't even know who he is. Uh, somebody on the panel. You know, no, it's, so good. It's, it's amazing coming out of the chief curator of MoMA. Oh, well, there you go. But, okay. but anyway, uh, there's a lot of people out there uh, just now. I mean, not a lot, but a growing <coughs> number of people who do have the language, who understand the connoisseurship, understand how paintings are put together. And um, uh, 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 does anybody know the Art Renewal Center uh, ARC website? I recommend that. Uh, there's there's uh, nearly uh, uh, 2,000 articles. Uh, on that website, Hyperion and other, there's, there's, there's places to go. You don't normally find it in um, Western art magazines, but uh, you know, it's, it, it's, it's out there. Um, it's perennial too. I mean, art criticism, uh, I think, uh, since it's beating a dead horse, it's a little dead itself with uh, uh, some of the uh, modernist crit critics, but uh, I think there's just a lot to say about what the fascinating thing is happening with. No, no faux realism. <laughs> well, I, I think if recent history has shown anything is that innovation is coming very quickly and it's coming from the fringe. You know, if you, were, if you were to tell me five, ten years ago, what are the devices I would have in my pocket right now, I couldn't tell you. I couldn't even imagine them, but someone imagined them. And I think this movement... Are there any that we should know about? <laughs> <laughs> I think this movement has a little bit of <laughs> Uh, and I will, I will say, you know, this movement should just keep doing what it's doing. Eventually, it will be in the right place at the right time. You know, and I, yeah. you know, that, that's just the way it's going to go. And when that happens, I can't tell you, but it will happen, I think. Okay. All right, Alexa, keep it, we're already at 530, <laughs> so we're going to go over, but I, I still want to get, you know, at least one, so one or two questions from the audience. No, what I think is, it's, what was so fascinating coming out of that quote from the other side of the establishment. It's a realization that it's back in artists' corner, which essentially, Jacob, it's exactly what you think. If, if, if they collapse, if their language, if they lost the language, if they're incapable to apply the language, it's come back to the artist. But it's also, on, I think, on our end, on the artist's end, essentially, it's, there will be people who will come up and describe. But what do we do, we do in a situation like that? How does it affect us? I think it's absolutely fascinating that main thing we assured, we assured, and it did happen, and we're fortunate enough, the knowledge transfer was assured, we're fortunate enough to talk into this enormously unbroken chain of great tradition. And there are people, again, instrumental in preserving the chain and broken, and this they should be, you know. What I think is important right now is how do we use it right now? This is a tool. The tradition that was put in our hands to the best ability to the, in the dedication that we can commit to it. What are we going to produce? Because this is power. Art is power. The type of art that we love is power. The great ones who were behind us looking at us are smiling upon us. Because now we can engage this power right now and we can do something that will be relevant to the viewers today and we can really do something incredible right now. All right. Yeah, thanks. Okay, we, we've got time for at least one audience question. Um, all right. Yeah, can you, would, would you be able to come up? Because we have, uh, I think we have almost 200 people watching online. So I want to make sure they can hear you as well. Right, right. No, we're not. Oh, I've yeah. been careful. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, it's too late now. Um, <laughs> <laughs> People groping the, the performers, the, that one. Exactly. Uh -huh. How much further does modern art have to go? That's the question. I think in view of what happened, people being part from museums of life, using their minds, what are the consequences of that kind of action? I think it's, it's a corpse. Well, I think that's, a, but that's a perfect, they're so, I'm sure they're delighted to have some scandal. It's hard to have scandal in the contemporary art scene. We actually pulled it off. So I'm sure that it's a very, it's a coup because everyone's upset, everyone's talking about it, getting, getting outraged. 
So that, but it's harder and harder to do to, to get to analyze anybody. So, so is it ever going to reach uh, a point? But I guess my point is a little bit like it else crossed else. the line in whatever in 1911 or something. I think Duchamp decided he wanted to play tennis without a net as an art act, something like was it before the war, I think, and he, that he was he was sort of taking it to its conclusion. And it's like 100 years later, we're still getting the joke. So you know, I don't know whether, I think it'll just keep going and people will get outraged. Thanks for the questions. Anybody else have a quick response? Uh, Gordon, uh, Gordon has a key. I put a little quick up to that. Uh, I think what you just described and what, and, and what Jacob just described is a death of shock. The shock is that, and still you know, but it, to me, the real, I mean, the hub of that, and, and that was something that was not discussed, and I think should be discussed in form of criticism, is the impact of a hub of You know, the, that the red line was already crossed when the sanctity of life had been already breached with the hub of Right, you know, I, I wish we could keep going. Uh, uh, one thing is, right. uh, the, the sh uh, they jumped the shark. Okay. Shark tank. Uh, well, that's the shark is dead. The shark is dead. Thank you. All right. Uh, thank you so much, all panelists. Uh,